and fail to express their wishes clearly. People who believe that most men would never have sex with a woman without her consent will have a hard time hearing how the overperception bias and feeling entitled to take advantage of the situation can cause them to do just that. It would be nice to believe that regulations and rules and policy guidelines are the best rate to reducing the incidence of rape on college campuses or elsewhere. The California State Senate, in its infinite wisdom, has just passed a bill that would require colleges to adopt a policy instructing students that each partner must provide, quote, affirmative, conscious, and voluntary agreement to engage in sexual activity. <laughs> Way to go, California State Senate. How could any couple implement this policy? Which sexual activity? Some activities? All activities? When? Before? <coughs> during? After? What about threesomes who can't agree? What if two of them agree and one doesn't? And what's conscious, by the way? Anyone care to draw the line between a mild buzz, intoxication, and ecstasy high, inebriation? and all other possible states of consciousness on the way to passing out? <laughs> if the California State Senate wants to reduce the incidence of sexual coercion, I think it would be better off trying to find ways to increase empathy, kindness, fun, advanced courses in the art of seduction, <laughs> an emphasis on reciprocal pleasure, and the many benefits of turning the other cheek. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving along. Okay. While colleges, courts, and politicians wrestle with solutions, we will all do well in any given case or allegation to play our part as skeptics, to maintain our skepticism, wait for evidence, and avoid reflexively jumping off the pyramid. If we can do this, we will be in a better position to see ways of achieving justice and safety for women and for men, and for turning the dance of ambiguity into a dance of intimacy that is more pleasurable, more honest, and more satisfying for each of us in our private lives. Thank you.